right, what's up guys? Just bought a 2003 RM125. Um, kind of boggy on the bottom end, and I think I know why. Holy. Yeah, we got some cake on here. I mean, if you're looking for a birthday cake this year, I'd definitely go with the air filter dirt special. Um, Pro circuit pipe, and, or no. Oh shit, it's a Bill's pipe. Bill's pipe and I don't know what kind of silencer. I think it might be an older Pro Circuit. I don't know, it needs to be packed, that's for sure. Uh, it runs and drives. Needs new grips. Things like that. Needs clean bad. Other than that, it's decent. We're gonna clean this thing and see how it goes. I'll start it up real quick. It's got decent compression. For 125. <laughs> You can just tell it's starving for fuel, it's sucking the whole filter in, trying to get, or not fuel, air, sorry. But yeah, we're gonna fucking... Filters? Yeah. No, we're gonna clean it and we're gonna run it. <laughs> Alright guys, it's been a few days since I last did an update on this RM125. Uh, last time we checked it was, uh, well, actually last time I was talking my camera ran out of storage, so this is what, this has been like two or three days, I don't even remember to be honest. But. Uh, clean the filter, took the car apart, put a uh, little bit smaller main jet in it because it's running really uh, rich on top end. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to change that back or not, but I'm gonna do a plug plug chop and then see. But I had a, the problem with it pretty much was the air screw was only out half a turn, it should have been out one and a half turn. Um, so yeah, this is running good. Just took it for a rip, didn't get that on GoPro, just a quick little five minute rip. Uh, repack the silencer. I gotta change the oil. I should actually do that here now. Um, what else do I have to do? Oh, and I ran out of gas right as I was pulling in. So I gotta do that. And then here's the KLX. If you guys know I broke this exhaust, snapped it, I welded it, and I grinded it, and then I painted it because um, if you saw the video, I got a bunch of my sweatshirt burnt onto there so I just grinded the whole thing down and uh, painted it. Now I'm waiting for this to coat to dry. I'll just put it on and I'll start it up. Well it's pretty much dry so I can do a start up here in a minute. If you guys are wondering about the Bayou 185 here, uh, I swamped it, drained all the water and everything but the fuel pump went out so I gotta, it's not nothing's been sitting on here. Whatever. I gotta take the fuel pump out of there and uh, bring it to like O'Reilly's or Auto Parts store or something, see if they have a fuel pump that'll do the same thing. Cause I'm not paying $150 for OEM fuel pump. It's ridiculous. Let's see here. What else? Nico's bike's done. Chirp Outdoors. It's for sale. 30, what was it? I think I'm gonna say 3,100 or 3,200. I don't remember. I think it's 3,100. My buddy Jacob with the KLX 110. I'm gonna sell him this stock cylinder and piston here. I might help him put that in. Drain the oil and start up with that quick. Alright, we got the RM gear oil draining pretty much done. I'll just start up here at the KLX. Not like you guys haven't heard it if you're, well, if you're new to the channel, you haven't, but I suppose you guys haven't heard it for a while. Funniest thing that just happened, well, it wasn't really funny, it was a waste of money, but I forgot to put the drain bowl back in and I went to go put all my oil in it. <laughs> so it just started pouring out. I dumped the whole thing in it before I realized it, so 750 milliliters right down the drain. So at least I learned my lesson to double check stuff before I go too quick. <laughs> and that's probably about it. So, it's a whole lot of ways I could get my cash. Nigga, you ain't got no backup. You should back up. All the hoes say I'm handsome, I got my bands up.